The, the, the classic ones are these ones because they mimic the, 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 the human arm movement. So I'll, I'll show you. It's, it works like this. 2023, we'd like to just give you guys a tour of, you know, where the micro bakery is at right now. So yeah, we'll, we'll start with the house. Um, obviously that's the kitchen. So um, basically the, the micro bakery has now um, encroached the whole house because um, the micro bakery is over there. Um, and you can come with me. Um, the ba micro bakery is here. I'm not sure if it's still micro, but still, it's it's now a proper bakery, probably. So this is our bread rack here, where we put all of our breads to cool down. Um, now it's just filled with a lot of like random stuff, just because we took a break um, since the new year. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, so so basically, again, what I was trying to say is that this the, the whole bakery thing is encroaching the house because our bread slicers over there you know we have a, a really we <laughs> our, our biggest um single fridge here um this is a new addition to the bakery so that's it um so yeah from the house i can just open this door <coughs> and now we are at the bakery um so yeah, I'll, I'll just take you here um at this side first where you know we have a little gate here um, it's um, where people usually come in um, and then so to my right we have our um, chiller uh, and then here we have our freezers um, just a little sorry about these ones um, on my video two years ago I had this like glass chiller um, that's the only chiller that I had plus the the home uh, f fridge that we had um, so when I looked when I wanted to kind of upgrade our chilling equipment I first went into Facebook marketplace hoping to find a good deal and thankfully I was able to find a good deal for these two these are I don't know th these are very very big capacities um, I, I, I got them for 26,000 pesos um, both at the same time so 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 both of these for 26k that was a very very good deal um yeah so this chiller um this is where we usually put our eggs butters and all that stuff so i'm just going to show you the ones here all of this um usually gets filled with like the butter sheets that we have um so yeah um that's where we put them all all, all, all of the butter sheets they usually get filled um on production days and then to my left we have um, a shitload of trays <laughs> over here. Um, so yeah, so this is a, a speed rack. Um, I, I don't I don't like the speed rack. The the one that I like is at the store, which we'll make a, a tour of in in the next video. Um, here is my is our sh shitty um, <laughs> uh, Shit. prover. Yeah, just I say that because this is. Y you manually set this like to 30 degrees and like humidity like that but then the thing with um, these manually operated uh, fermentation closets or cabinets or boxes whatever you call them is that usually um, there's a they've got two thermometers here and then usually you know with with boiling water it doesn't like just stop like giving off that heat or that temperature so so here the temp the the temperature or the thermometer or the temperature sensor like senses like it's 30 degrees now it's gonna turn it off but then the water still boiling and then still generating a lot of heat and so this is a this has been a nightmare to kind of deal with because like we, we've had like croissants melting in here um, but we kind of just learn how to to work with it just because like we're not blessed with so much money <laughs> you know um, yeah and and back to these like trays we've got I don't know maybe 40 um, right now it, it's it's incredible how um, how these aren't sufficient for the for, for what we make here like I remember when I first had like five trays I'm like 
cool like that's enough and then now there's a lot more and then we're still running out of them um, so yeah th that's it um, now <coughs> we move on to this side of the bakery um, if you check here to my right yeah yes Sure. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. Um, micro bakery life um, or home bakery life. <clears throat> anyway, to my right, this is um, uh, a wall or a hanging rack that I made. So it's it's a it's it's for lack of a better word, it's crap. <laughs> But it does, it, 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 it gets the job done because we need a lot of rack space too. Um, and on this side, we have the dough sheeter. Um, this is where we, we make our croissants. Um, this, yeah, so it's, it's foldable. Um, can hold, well, it says on the manual that it can hold like four kilograms of dough, or it can, it can, it can sheet four kilograms of dough at, at one time, but we've, found we've um, we found that um, two kilos of dough is the is the ideal one um, and and cool story about this one is that I was desperate to have you know a, a better croissant making product because we used to do just like we used to just well actually my sister Alex used to just hand laminate stuff um, <coughs> and that was the worst experience because this um, bakery or this space is not air conditioned. <coughs> um, sorry, give me a sec. Okay, we're still recording. Um, it's not air conditioned, um, I and it's not the most ideal, you know, condition to make your croissants in. So this one we got it off of Alibaba, um, just because I was desperate to have like a to get a cheap equipment. So so later on, uh, so actually. Um, I just looked up like some Chinese uh, YouTube videos about like how you can get stuff from Alibaba you know um, that's good quality and all that stuff so um, I've been I've been putting off that video but I should probably do it so if, if there's anyone out there who want to get straight from the factory like equip bakery equipment straight from the factory then for, for a very cheap price then you know I should make that video and, and show you guys but anyway this one <coughs> I got it for 75k including shipping to this to our house um, from China just to give you an idea um, these things locally they are about 200 250k um, and sec like used um, sheeters go like this exact model they they are between 150 to 180,000 pesos. So I got a really good deal out of this one. So anyway, the, the table here, this is a very simple one that I also made. It's, 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 it's okay, it gets the, the job done, but I need to make changes on these ones because the trays here at the bottom, they, they kind of, um, they, they're hard to, to put inside because it goes this way, not this way. So I probably have, should have a brace there so but overall i'm happy it, it, it gets the job done um and i was able to practice my welding skills <laughs> so anyway this one is a a sort of flower bin we ju we only have one um so yeah um i got it off of china as well from alibaba so now here we have a, f a chest freezer that, that i got off of, off of my parents house um they, they were trying to dispose of it now we now it's cool that we have it because like it's an extra refrigeration equipment plus we're using it as a as a as a table or a work table it, it's cool too because like this right now is very is cold so when we make croissants here or when we shape the croissants here they they kind of keep some of that um coolness or you know cold so this one well or it's it's just oh yeah it's it's kind of cold today look okay. It's 24.5 degrees Celsius in the bakery, which almost always never happens. But anyway, this is um, this is our um, <coughs> what do you call it? 
are ultra low freezer. Funny story, I Nicole usually well she knows that I kind of do not read a lot of of details. So when I bought this, I thought this was a blast freezer. Um, is that you? Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, Sammy, this is longer than, uh, but it's okay. okay. So this is um, this is an ultra low freezer. Goes below like negative forty degrees Celsius. Um, <coughs> the funny thing is, I thought this was this was a blast freezer, but when it came, I'm like, why is there no fan? And then I went and checked the the invoice again, and I realized I I picked out the the freezer that didn't have fan um, if there was a fan in here then this would be a blast freezer so yeah um, I kind of wasted some well a lot of money for this one but not as much as if I uh, I'm not as much as um, if I had bought this locally so this is all China too so I'm brought from Alibaba um, so yeah this is uh, a cool one um, sorry yeah so yeah, this is what it looks like here. We put 10 trays and we kind of deep freeze all of our croissants and then put them in the chest freezer over here and then do another batch. Um, it takes a, lo a long time, but I'm, I mean, I'm hoping that this year we can up upgrade to a, blast, to a proper blast freezer. So yeah. So anyway, on this side, we have a mixer. Um, from my 2020 video, um, now we've changed from a 12 kilogram um, max capacity uh, spiral mixer to now a 50 kilogram uh, spiral mixer, which is cool. It's it's been very helpful. <coughs> and then this is a is a planetary mixer, probably about s six kilos or four um, capacity. But anyway, um, we don't usually we don't often use it, but use it as Alex does it for creams, pastry creams, and all that stuff. I do it for, I used to do it for my panettone too, but I was able to purchase another one that's more conducive to panettone making. And, and on here is just the normal, like, um, cheap um, kitchen counter that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, and over here we've got, um, this is for the steam of the oven. I usually use a pump now and I used to go, go straight from the tap but now I use a pump um, that's it we've got racks here I, I'm just gonna show you this one quickly so these ones um, are the panettone molds there, there's about 600 of them um, so so I have like 600 maybe about a hundred tries of panettone this year that I can do to, to improve my skills but Anyway, um, so here, I'm going to bring you here to this work table. Um, it, so this work table has been made for us by our friends who are woodworkers. Um, it, it's, it's a pretty cool one, a pretty cool piece, um, just because, you know, it, it has, it, it gives contrast to all of the st steel looking stuff here on, on the, uh, I, in, in the bakery, I mean. The thing is, I, if, if I have extra money <laughs> this year, I'm gonna bu I'm gonna build a a steel um, working table and and slap a, a stainless steel uh, work surface on it. Just because stainless steel is incredibly easy to to maintain and to clean. This one you have to oil it a lot. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna and there's some utility to it because we just put in flowers here and all that stuff. So what I want to do in the future is kind of make or fabricate some of the ones that I've already did and kind of fabricate one here that can will have a lot more utility than this one so this brings us to our last but probably one of the most important things in the bakery this one um, our deck oven it can fit like um, three 40 by 60 centimeter trays, which is very good for bread and baguette um, and, and, and brioche. This is where we used to to bake all of our croissants too, but now be because of Alibaba, <laughs> um, 
So now we have this, uh, <coughs> uh, a convection oven, which is amazing for making croissants. But again, with all of these equipment, um, one thing that we learned is that um, equipment, they are tools and tools are just that, tools. They don't, they won't improve your your bread or your croissants. It's, it's still with how you use them. And there are many steps to making bread and croissants and all that stuff. So um, if you buy a steam deck oven, don't expect to, to for, for that oven to magically improve the way your products look it's still because that's the thing that i've learned when i still didn't have this and then when i purchased this um oven i slapped on my breads all of them and then hit the steam button and hope that they magically come out you know better but it came out worse I in fact i stopped using this for three months when i got it just because i was so depressed that I spent some money on this one and then it's it's not turning out the way I wanted them to I mean the breads later on I found out that I needed to kind of install these things um, for it to keep the steam better these ones they didn't come with um, they call it gaskets so they keep the heat and the steam inside how do they install it? no I just installed it yeah oh. I just installed some high epoxy uh, so high high temperature epoxy things on there and then just bought this rope ceramic fi fiber rope to keep the steam in there I, I um but yeah so anyway my point is um uh i just it, it, it took me a while to realize that you know all of these are just tools it, it's with how you you kind of work around them especially if you're buying something you know um if you're doing it if, if you're doing diy um um, be because you wanted to save more money and all that stuff, like me, um, you have to work around the the flaws and the limitations of the ones that, of the the, the things that you're buying cheaply. Because um, um, if if I had more money, I'd I'd buy the the extremely expensive, like well-known bakery equipment brands out there. But you know, um, this is um, practical for me, so I have to work around that. And uh, anyway, so my last the last thing that i wanted to kind of tell people about is this diving arm mixer it's a it's a it's a very old mixer that i got from a friend um it it was owned by her father this one um and this is pretty cool because um the the mixers in like like f like half a century ago um they the, the the classic ones are these ones because they mimic the 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 human arm movement so I'll, I'll show you it's it works like this. Yeah. yeah so this is where I make my panettone because this is usually where um, um, panettone makers uh, this is this mixer is actually what panettone makers use in Italy and in in, in in a lot of professional bakeries the only th my only gripe with this one is because it's about 40 50 years old this one is that <coughs> there's no speed limiter or you know a speed adjuster on on this um, I spoke to a very good technician who's gonna probably um, <coughs> install something on there that I can change the speed of this one and then it's gonna be the perfect um, mixer for my panettone but anyway um, with all of that said, yeah, this is this is where we are at now in 2023. Um, I'm not sure where you know in, in the next six months or a year if we'll still if the bakery will still be here or um, if it's gonna move out because I'm just I've been kind of dreaming now for three four months to kind of move this whole bakery away from the house and make it into a proper you know bakery outside you know a brick and mortar you know proper whatever that means but yeah anyway so thanks so much for staying this long i'll see i'll catch you in the next video cheers